Today we're going to look at five acoustic guitars under $500 that represent some of the mix of best features and value for this year in 2020. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store below for custom designed t-shirts. So we've done some videos like this in the past and you guys always love them. Today we wanted to refresh this list for 2020 and take a look at the top five acoustic guitars under $500. Now for this video, there's a few requirements. One, I decided to limit it to steel string guitars only. So we won't be looking at any nylon string or classical guitars, that will be in another video. We are also not looking at any travel size guitars. There are a lot of travel size guitars at and under $500, but again, those are kind of their own segment, so we want to limit this to full-size steel string acoustic guitars. And what these represent is what I feel are some of the best values based upon feature for the money, aesthetics, feel, and a particular type of music or musician that they appeal to. So we aren't going to be looking at these in any particular order per se. So starting from five, we're going to go to number one, but they're, it's not like number one's the best or anything like that. These are the five that represent potentially the best guitar for you in this price range. The first guitar we're looking at is the Yamaha FG830. Now this is actually representative of kind of an entire line from Yamaha, which is the FGFS guitars. If you've watched our channel for any period of time, you know that I am a fan of Yamaha's line of acoustic guitars. They've been building them for decades. They've been imported and popular in the US since the 1960s. And everything from their FG800 all the way to their red label guitars, they are high quality, well-built, fantastic ac acoustic guitars that really can last a lifetime. The FG830 represents about the top of the range for the FG series of guitars in the price range that we're discussing. The 830 is a, a dreadnought body shape with a solid Sitka spruce top. It includes scalloped bracing that really allows the top to vibrate and move. The 830 has rosewood back and sides that you can see here, along with a rosette made of abalone. Very comfortable neck profile, good action, a high quality instrument. Now the FG800, the 820, the 830 are primarily different by aesthetics and the woods used for the laminate on the back and sides. So from a tonal and feel standpoint, the FG800 at about 199 or a little bit north of that now is one of the very best values in acoustic guitars, period. Whether you choose the 800, the 820, or the 830 that I'm holding, you really can't go wrong. It's simply based upon the aesthetic that you like and the sound that you want. You can get it either in the FG body or the FS body, which is a smaller folk style body. Whichever you choose, great value, great construction. They'll serve you for many years to come. Now we come to this beautiful big body guitar from Epiphone. It is the EJ200 SCE, and it is a jumbo that's based upon the Gibson J or SJ200 that has been in production for years and is famous for being in many people's hands, notably Elvis Presley. It's really got that look nailed 
to a T for that classic Gibson aesthetic that so many of us love. But it's also a very, very well-built Epiphone guitar with a host of fantastic features for, like I said, under $500. This particular version is Sunburst, but you can get this guitar in black or in a natural finish as well. It comes with a great Fishman Precis pickup system on it, and it features a solid spruce top for a fantastic tone right out of the box. You've got gold tuners, you've got this great mustache style bridge, this ornamented pick guard, and these wonderful inlays on the, on the uh, fretboard and the headstock. Now, we have done a comparison in the past where we compared this guitar to the Gibson version. And some people misunderstood and in the comments thought I was bashing the Epiphone, but actually I wasn't. The fact that we're comparing a sub $500 guitar to a $5,000 Gibson should be enough to tell you right then what I think of this guitar. I think it's a huge value that really bats above its weight class. Now the end result of that video was I said, the Gibson's better. And it should be, it's $5,000. But the Epiphone is a fantastic guitar that gives you that classic look and really holds its own against other guitars within this price point and that are more expensive. The combination of the great acoustic sound that you get out of this, the wonderful feel, and the uh, Fishman pickup system that's available really makes this a great guitar, whether you're playing at home, on the porch with friends, or taking it to the coffee shop for a great performance. If you like this classic look and you want a big, bold sounding guitar without breaking the bank, you definitely want to take a look at the Epiphone EJ200 SCE. Next on the list, I want to include a guitar from Fender because it comes with this, a hard shell case at this price of under $500, which is an insane value on its own. Inside this hard shell arch top case, we have a solid top Fender CD 140 SCE. Let me show you. So black case, nice locking latches, beautiful gray interior, and then you get this wonderful guitar. Now. We've done videos in the past where we compared the Yamaha and the Fender guitars in this price range and in these lineups. The reason is that both manufacturers years ago remodeled their line of acoustic guitars and they now have very similar feature parity. So in this guitar, we have laminate back and sides with a Fishman slash Fender co-designed pickup system. It's really fantastic and has your built-in tuner. It's a cutaway. It has a solid spruce top with scalloped bracing. Now feel-wise, the neck on these, the nut width and the scale length are all modified to be a little bit more comfortable. So if you're used to playing an electric guitar or you're starting out and you want something that's not going to be very difficult to play, this guitar checks all of those boxes. When you combine that with the fact that it's a solid top, which is gonna provide you the best tone out of the box, it has scalloped bracing, which allows the top to move the most, and it already has a built-in Fisherman pickup system and a case. It's really, really hard to beat. The price on these, as of right now, I think is about $3.99. You always want to go to our website and check, alamomusic.com, because those, that price is subject to change. But for a sub $500 guitar, this Fender CD140 SCE really packs in a lot of value and gives you great sound and a great feel as well.
All right, next on our list is really a dramatically different guitar from everything else we've looked at. This is the Ibanez AEWC32FM. Now, this guitar is available in a number of finishes, but they are all very cool modern finishes, like this diagonal fade finish that's available here on this flamed top model in this kind of blue fade. This guitar is really ideal for the electric player who also plays acoustic guitar, because check it out. This thing is super thin. Like that's thinner than some Les Pauls, I'm 90% sure. It has a built-in pickup system, great playability, a very fantastic neck, which of course Ibanez is known for. Now the top on this is laminate. And typically I would probably tell you to shy away from laminate if you are looking for something that has a really big, bold acoustic sound. But something that's this thin isn't going to have that anyway. What this is ideal for is really for playing on the stage. The combination of the laminate top and the thin body allows this thing to be very, very feedback resistant. So you can crank that pickup system playing through floor wedge monitors, have no issues at all, and it's extremely comfortable to hold in your lap. It's as comfortable as any electric guitar would be. The neck is extremely fast playing. The action is really nice. All of the lines are very comfortable. There's no sharp edges from the frets. It's a very, very well built guitar and it looks very nice to boot. So if you are primarily an electric player or you are someone who plays acoustic on stage and you need something that's comfortable and very feedback resistant, you definitely need to take a look at this sub $500 acoustic guitar from Ibanez, the AEWC 32 FM. Available in a number of uh, different finishes. Check out the options available on our website. Last but certainly not least is the Taylor Academy 12. Now you could actually look at either the Academy 12 or the Academy 10 as being great options in this $500 and under price point. Now right now this comes right up to that limit of $500 that we have set. But this offers perhaps some of the very best value in this price range simply, in one case, by being from Taylor. They are known for making fantastic playing and sounding instruments that have unrivaled quality just about. It's very difficult to find any tailor, pick it up and look for a blemish or any issue with it. On top of that, these guitars, both the Academy 12, which is the grand concert body that I'm holding, and the Academy 10, which is the small dreadnought from this series, are all made with the beginner in mind, hence the name Academy. The features that you're going to find on this guitar are a, in this case, a grand concert, smaller body shape, with a solid Sitka spruce top with scalped bracing. The back and sides are layered sapele. It has this wonderful and unique beveled armrest right here in the lower bout of the guitar. Now this is all about making the guitar comfortable to play. Your arm drapes over it, it's really comfortable. You're not having that hard angle right there at your elbow and you're able to play. The neck also has a shorter scale length and that great fast playability that we've come to expect from Taylor Guitars. On these new, for the last, I don't know, year or so, are hard rock maple necks that they're using instead of mahogany. So if you're familiar with maple on electric guitars, you'll know that it is incredibly fast feeling. It's really a, a solid, stable neck, uh, great tuning machines, and it comes with a gig bag. So at this price, you this option, this guitar is available with a pickup, but not at this price point. But the fact that you also get Taylor's gig bag with it 
It's all extremely great quality. It's a guitar that will last decades and will really help you in learning to play the acoustic guitar. And of course it sounds good as well. Check it out. So there you have it. That's our top five under 500 for 2020. All of these guitars have a great mix of features and value depending upon what you need as the musician. Now, if this video has helped, that's great. But if you have more questions, go to our website, alamomusic.com, where you can chat live with one of our associates who can help answer all of your questions and steer you in the right direction for the guitar that you need. The best guitar in the world is the one that you're making music on. And we want to help you find that perfect guitar just for you. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. If you didn't, that other button works okay. Comment below, tell us what you thought, and keep coming back for more. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.